keeps his feet, coming to the near side. Brown turns the corner at the 40, down to the 35. Back middle of the field, 30. Spins his way to the 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Arizona. Shun Brown. Head coach Rich Rodriguez joins us as the Wildcats get set for their Pac-12 opener Friday night against the Utah Utes. 7.30 kickoff at the stadium. The Wildcats coming off a road victory against Texas El Paso. And congratulations, Coach. One in on the road is never easy in college football, and your team played exceptionally well down in El Paso. When you went back and looked at the film, did, was there anything that stood out? Well, we, we played, we executed better. You know, there's still some mistakes we made and uh, some things we got to clean up. But for a lot of young guys, it was their first road trip. I thought they handled the week well. They handled the trip pretty maturely. And, and we got the win. And it was going to be a t difficult environment. Wasn't going to be a lot of noise there. Wasn't going to be, you know, we had to bring our own enthusiasm, so to speak. But they handled it well, and they understand how important now the next games are going to be. That word execution came into play last week. You really stressed it to your guys during practice. You just mentioned it again. Uh, how did you? How did that come together in terms of on the field work? Well, we challenged the guys during the week, veterans, especially at the quarterback position, and Brandon. And you know, he played pretty well, saw the field well, and you could tell that he, that he took the challenge during the week and and uh, had to play better. And that position always gets highlighted, but there was other positions as well. And. And it was a solid performance. We played better up front on the O-line. Uh, defensively, we got off blocks, got, got some three and outs. And so that was all good st stuff to see. And then we got a lot of guys got experience. You know, we played a lot of people in that game, and so they got some experience for, for further down the season. You've now used nine true freshmen on the defensive side of the football so far this season. Tell us about that group and, and how much can they continue to grow this season? Well, we hope that they, by midseason, we're no longer talking about their inexperience. You know, every, every game is going to be a new experience, and that's one thing you got to, as coaching staff, you got to be aware of that this is going to be the first time for them. A veteran player has always been there, done that. They can adjust quickly. A freshman usually takes a little longer, but we're forcing it on them. And, and uh, you know, you mentioned some of the guys defensively. There will be more play as, uh, play as the season goes along. We're going to need those guys. All right. Pac-12 opener, new season, et cetera. Where do you gauge your team at through three games now heading into conference play? Well, you know, we certainly blew one a couple weeks ago. I don't say blew it. I mean, we, we played hard, but we had many opportunities to win that. But those are all three in the past, and the conference games are more important. And, you know, there's a lot riding on, these, on each of these games. You know, it's a national TV game. It's at home against one of the better teams in our league that everybody picks to have a chance to win. And now they're in the top 25 and playing really well. So we've got to play better than we have all season, but we're capable of doing that. And I think there will be no problem, I think, getting our guys fired up for this one. Utah's always had a tough defense when, since they got into the Pac-12. Offensively now, they've hired a new coordinator in Troy Taylor. Has he or what has he changed offensively for Utah? Yeah, they, they've always been a little bit of a spread, but now they're even more so. And it, it looked like us in a lot of ways. They run a lot of quarterback runs, a lot of quarterback zone read things, and they got a very athletic guy that's playing at a high level. And, and they'll challenge you. They'll stretch you from sideline to sideline defensively, and that's going to be an issue. We're going to – not an issue, but a thing that's different for us, what we've seen in the first few ball games. So our defense has a lot of work to do this week to get ready for that. All right, Cats and the Utes coming up Friday night, kickoff 7.30 and more right after this. It's Star Wars Night, Arizona versus Utah on Friday, September 22nd at 7.30. Go to ArizonaWildcats.com slash FB for tickets and promotion details. Bear down and may the force be with you. Time to meet your Wildcat and this week's guest is J.J. Taylor who uh, last year burst onto the scene early. Unfortunately, an early injury ended that, uh, that freshman season, but he's back healthy and a big part of the Wildcats. And uh, JJ, for those who didn't get a chance to know you last year, tell us a little bit about yourself. I got three brothers, two sisters. I'm in the middle. And uh, shoot, I love playing video games. Okay. What, uh, what was it like growing up in a big family like that? Uh, was there competition? There? No, it was always competition, doing everything, playing basketball, uh, playing football, playing catch, and even playing tag, you know. It was always, always competing. 
Okay. okay. Where did you finish in the uh, the order there? You said you were a middle child. Yeah, so. I probably finished around second in mostly everything. My second oldest brother, who's about like six two, six three, kind of beat us in everything. Okay. Now you might arguably be the fastest guy in the team, on the Arizona team. So how fast were you in your family? I'm the fastest one in the family, but I don't know about on the team. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, who is who's faster than you? Do you think? Uh, there's a couple I know. TJ for sure, Dan Kershake, um, Lorenzo Burns, and um, a few other. Okay. What do you like to do on your day off? Will you get away from football? Sleep. No, I, I can't even say that. That's a lie. <laughs> no, it's that's a popular answer. Believe me. But uh, I probably sit at home and play video games. Okay. And that's about it. Favorite video game? Uh, game called Rocket League, but I got me a new favorite called Dead by Daylight, and it's like a it's like a survivor game. Okay. And you play online, and you you know you just try to survive the yeah. entire time. Do you do you get together? Do you play with friends, or do you just anonymously pick up anybody that's out usually, there? Usually, I usually try to you know plan times to play with friends back home. Okay. And uh, all the former teammates of that. Right. So. Um, bucket list of places you'd like to visit somewhere in your lifetime? I say, like Brazil. Sure. Um, a lot of guys like Brazil. Yeah, I don't well, know why. It's just really? that's just the first thing that popped in my head. Okay. Um, and um, probably say uh, Hawaii. Okay, that's another popular place too. Yeah. What's it, what's it like on game day when you first walk out into the stadium? Uh, it's just like a it's like a feeling of refreshment, like a new day is about to start, and you know, you know I'm a whole new person. Okay. How'd you pick your jersey number? Um, I guess growing up watching Ladanian Thompson. Okay. And uh, I started. I used to wear just random numbers, and then it got to a point where I just you know after watching him for so long, it just clicked and. 21 just been it. Are you your own cook? Do you do any of your... Uh, that's, that's what I've been doing for the past really? what, six months. Okay. So what's your specialty? Uh, steak, just rice, and then chicken. Okay. Do you have to follow a... you got to follow a pretty good training regimen, right? I follow... I call my mom every time. Okay. Ask her for a new recipe every day. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, so, so she's taught you a lot about the, yeah. the culinary arts. Yeah. All right, he's J.J. Taylor, running back for the Wildcats as we meet your Wildcats.